ten time champion who runs with the uh, Volvo. He takes the upper the bridge and down towards the front of the mountain for the first time. He's going to break away. 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 Right-hander and bomb hole for the third time. They're going to start digging and stuff through there. For a fact, it'll be very easy to watch this weekend and make sure no one gets all those wheels off the track and onto the dirty stuff. But all looking good. First lap okay. I think everyone has almost safety in the vibe. There's a bit of a slow runner towards the back. And apart from that, I think we're all safety through the first lap. And as you said, Matt, the top two starting to break away from the rest of the pack. It is becoming now a battle for who can try and get into that third place spot. At the moment, though, Bradley Smith holding on to that position. But keep your eye, though, though on Simon Reid as he looks to try and find his way through. Maybe a look up inside. It's not the easiest place to overtake in towards the first corner of Richie's there. But that is Simon Reid piling on the pressure now as he bids to join that trio now. Uh, battling away for that last podium spot as they head their way up towards Wilson now. And it's good defensive driving at the moment from Bradley Smith heading in towards the Wilson hairpin. Uh, Stephen Powell in truck number three has got some damage down the right hand side. There was some uh, melee by the looks of it on the exit of the uh, Wilson hairpin on that uh, first lap but uh, uh, we're used to bodywork on these uh, trucks flailing away and uh, disappearing at certain times as well so that's not going to uh, put off Stephen Powell too much as he tries to catch back up with the rest of those in Division 1. Uh, currently lies in ninth place just behind Tom O'Rourke uh, just ahead of the 14 truck of John Bowler. Uh, the one that was slow or slowish in Division 2, the uh, Seven Atkinson of Jim Bennett just slightly off the pace as he completed the first lap but uh, he continues to run as he works his way out of the Wilson hairpin uh, the battle for the lead and heads its way down in towards Oggies and to be fair now it looks like David Jenkins has got some work to do uh, to keep at bay here Simon Reid in the number 89 truck because all of a sudden uh, Bradley Smith has started to put away and David Jenkins now starting to become the cork in the bowl yeah if Jenkins is starting to defend of course you have to take slightly different lines you're starting to lap slower it allows the car uh, the, the truck ahead of you I should say to start to pull away because they can take whatever line they want and you're having to take defensive ones so uh, a bit of a good sign then for Bradley Smith as he tries to pull away uh, from what be a fourth place back heading our way now in towards Rundle and Nelson here but at the top of the order then right still pulling away set the pass up the race to 20 Simon Reid looking ever closer uh, to the back of David Jenkins. They work their way down towards Murray. Can't quite find the gaps in the inside there, so uh, probably with not quite left to get through. So Simon Reid gets back in line, picks up the toe, and tries to see if he can do anything up towards the first corner at Ritchie's. All the while, Bradley Smith maintaining a five or six so truck length over David Jenkins in fourth place as he works his way in the third position up towards the first corner. There's been a bit of a shuffling further back because they've had to transpire Richie, sorry, so Simon Reid still fifth, uh, Michael on the uh, cross the line in sixth place, Craig Reid in seventh, uh, Ty Rourke, Steve Powell and John Bowler complete the top ten. Uh, absolutely, as uh, Lena still tries to pull away here again, a new fastest lap on the race at 2.23.991, again just very comfortable pulling away by nearly two seconds per lap at this rate, so he's loving it out there, is Ryan Smith trying to add to his plethora of wins already this season, but a lap for Stuart Oliver who did get that good start and was Brian Smith in towards the first couple of corners. Uh, he's managed to get himself a little bit of a race of his own. He's found his own space on track. But not with Ryan Smith. There is a black and orange uh, mechanic being displayed for Powell in a number three truck. Uh, they spotted not right. They're not happy officials, so they want that. Uh, they want that in to get that rectified. Yep, so black and orange flag for number three, Stephen Powell. So that will be into the pit lane in the next uh, couple of laps. It should be straight away, but it depends if he's uh, seen the flag or not. But he'll know there's some damage on that truck, so we'll see him in before too much longer. Uh, now, Bradley Smith, he runs in third place. He's been on the podium five times this year. He's been on the podium, in fact, every uh, race weekend at least once. So uh, he's looking to try and keep that form going at the minute. As he sits just off the tail of Ryan Smith and Stuart Oliver, making the way down towards Brunswick. And Nelson for the third time of asking. 